your paws off. My mouthy, you hear? You stay out there, Tom. I'm still cleaning up the mess you made. I let you back in, didn't I? And I even baked more cookies. Hmm, this one's a little misshapen. Here you go, Tom. You're welcome.
take that five bucks, please? Now, Tom, I've got some other packages on order for the house that may arrive today. Don't you dare touch any of them. Or else. Can't wait to see what you've gotten me for this Valentine's Day. <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Well, maybe it has something to do with last year's present. A plastic singing fish. Kensington, how lovely to see you at sea. Lady Teasdale, charmed, I'm sure. What a lovely surprise. Oh, darling, I'm so glad we're here together. Oh, it's wonderful to have some civilized company. Excuse me, madame, but it appears you have dropped one of your furs. I thought there were no pets on this ship. And certainly not rodents. Oh, sorry! Oh! <laughs> My little Phoebe so much I can practically hear her. Oh, that's just one of those pesky seagulls. <laughs> I'm sure 
certain the cat and mouse went that way. Messy office, what? The name's Dane, Reginald Dane. World famous secret agent Double K9 with Her Majesty's secret intelligence. How can you be secret and world famous at the same time? Don't get cheeky. I'm here on a special mission, and the Crown has designated you two as my partners here in the States. The Crown Jewels of the Queen's pet pooch are to be delivered here under secret cover. The three of us will see them safely to the town museum. Package for Reginald Dane, world famous secret agent. See? Ahem. Got a chip for me? Yes, don't eat paint chips. This calls for my large cardboard box opening, but also quite deadly pocket laser. Its precision requires the utmost care when. <laughs> so sorry. Good thing you guys buy fedoras in bulk. Low tech, how charmingly primitive. Ah, here it is. A rubber chicken? Is that the royal dog toy? Don't be silly. The royal jewels are inside. A clever plan to camouflage the priceless valuables. Empty. Seems to have been some mistake. You should give the delivery company a call. I know. Let's call in the delivery service. There seems to have been some sort of mistake. First, let's say you tidy up around the place. It's a bit of a mess, don't you think? So, after they cleaned up, they gave the delivery dispatcher a ring. The dispatcher admitted the rubber chicken delivery got fouled up because it was identical to another package sent to another building. He gave them the address and they all shook hands on it. So, I don't get a speaking roll? Sorry, but no. So the boys hightail it across town. You Yanks take things rather literally, don't you? Ah oh, well, when in Rome. To Lucaville, actually, but let's not split hairs, huh? They found the address and holed up in the building across the street where they conducted a stakeout to find the chicken. It turned out to be the Clown College, Prattfall Institute. Hello. I believe I spy our chicken. We'll just grab the jewels, leave the chicken, and no one will be the wiser. Bad show, old boy. The worst possible. Now. What have you to say for yourself? What's this? Giving up? 
Oh, no, I won't have it. When times are at their worst, we do not give up. Not as a household or a nation. As long as there is life in us, we never say die. We never accept defeat. Now, I'll look after the drapes and the tapestries, and you look after this and the grounds. We'll do Her Majesty proud. Carry on, my good fellow. Is nigh. Oh, I'm so excited. The honor of a lifetime. Oh, I hope I don't faint right away. <laughs> oh, look, here she comes. Lydia! Oh, what a day this has been. I think I shall go straight to bed and dream of it forever. A visit from the Queen. The Queen. The Queen. Just down the street. Hey! My chair! Wait till I get my hands up. Ooh, a donut! It's gonna go through the roof again. <laughs> Honey, you won't believe this, but. Look who ruined it. 
ruined his owner's fancy new throne. Tisk tisk. What a shame. Sure we can help. On one condition. Yeah, you give us all a free joyride in it. Deal? Cream cart. That'll calm him down. Time was running out for the detectives, and the police were everywhere. Going over that hill is a surefire shortcut. Looks like they gave the coppers the slip. Well, almost. All units, we've located the cat, mouse, and goose. Get them, boys. Shortcut. Nice move, Tom. Only a quarter mile from the border. Don't worry. It's all downhill from here. The boys finally arrived at the border. However, their frozen package seems to have thawed out. This little setback wasn't going to stop Tom. The cat and mouse detectives are always prepared. A goose call. Take a gander at that. <laughs> Don't you lay a paw on those biscuits, do you hear? Or you'll be out in the cold too. Go fetch the broom. My word, 
What's the meaning of this? Thomas, I see they've made a proper man of you. And just in time, you're needed in the dining room immediately. Good work, Thomas, and welcome back. Boswell, consorting with vermin? You've disgraced hunting hounds everywhere. Back to the kennel with you. Carry on, Thomas. We're most impressed. about to blow! Yikes! Well, it looks like the winning run is on deck! The cat and mouse are now pinch-hitting for Wheeler. And it's an explosion home run for the home! If you say so. Tom wins round one! Weightlifting's next! Why wait? Impressive, yes? <sighs> no. Cross this off Tom's bucket list. Butch, confident with a can-do attitude. I think Tom has this one in the bag. Pretty trashy, Butch. Butch is taking on some heavy lifting. Looks like he's having some trouble. Well, that's not going to help. 
<laughs> and Butch crushes Tom in the weightlifting portion of the competition. Up next, hot pepper eating contest. You know, all of this is unnecessary. Really, I... Let's see how the competitors handle the heat. Your turn. This is heating up at a fiery pace. <laughs> Getting bored. Things are really heating up now. Some more 
towels. There. Now stay out of this bathroom until I say so. Dried off, mister. The world's only water loving cat. Lucky me. All that, but mines are nicer. Mike, my big brother, long time no see. Put it in. <laughs> so, Mike, what you doing in this part of town? Uh, you know, I figured I'd just pop in and see what my little bro is up to. Hey, what do we have here? A fresh slab of steak? Your half, just like old times. So these are the grand digs, eh? We don't have no fancy dog houses at the junkyard where I live. I gotta say, I'm a little surprised that you can stand a place that's so, uh, eh, you know, uh, clean and, uh, and boring. What the? You didn't tell me there was a cat here. That cat? Eh, don't bother him. He's usually got enough sense to stay out of my way. We get our share of strays at the junkyard, too. Here's how we play it over there. Good afternoon, cat. Are you comfortable? Splendid. Here, hold this. Hansel Jack, where's the new dog? I never met a cat that didn't like a little exercise. There, you see? Gets their blood flowing, so to speak. Okay, you give it a shot. Uh, maybe one last one for good measure. Yeah, <laughs> he'll have a ball with this one. There ain't gonna be no fraternizing with cats as long as I'm around. <laughs> you know, I always forget how much fun we have together. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> So, uh, Mike, how long you planning on staying? Mike? Look, Spikey! Huh? Here! That'll be two more bones, Spikey! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! I'm feeling like we could go on with this all day! All this winning is making me thirsty. He's a little slow, but he's learning. Ah! Now, 
You didn't do that on purpose, did you? Well then, I guess we'll let you off with a warning. He ain't gonna spill no more drinks. <laughs> what do we got here? Rats, just like home. Let me show you a little game me and the rats play downtown. We call it making headlines. Here, take one. Ha <laughs> ha! You're up, Spikey. Show him who's boss. Are oh, these guys is all right? They don't cost me no trouble. Yeah? Let's remind them to keep it that way. Thomas, have you lost your mind? What? <gasps> are those my pearls? Uh, I believe they are. Oh dear, oh, this is most embarrassing. Good show, Thomas, catching this thief of a beast. Although I do wish you'd have done it more neatly. My sincerest apologies. It's quite all right. The valuables have been returned and no one seems to be hurt. Thank you for your understanding. We should be going then. Come, I'll walk you out. What has gotten into you? As entertaining as this is, Thomas, Lady Lillian has places to go. It really was lovely to see you, Lillian. Please do try to come visit again soon. Oh, that's kind of you. I promise to come back before the new year. Without Kevin, of course. Sight in the interest of creating a lasting peace, I, Tom, and I, Jerry, do hereby swear to a treaty to end all hostilities and hereby maintain peace at last. The Duke and Duchess have asked me to relay their compliments on your exemplary performance of late. And we've had not a single instance of mischief from mice. Well done! You can keep up the good work by sweeping the main hallway. Well, hello, Governor. All right, geezer. Long time no see. Oh, and look at that. It's as if you was expecting us. Don't mind if I do. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Love a duck. Our wives got bees in their bonnets all of a count we forgot their birthdays. We'd be lying if we said we wasn't on the lamb and hungry as wolves. So we thought we'd pay a visit to the host with the most, our good old cousin Jerry. Two our words was never spoke. <laughs> Crackers! <laughs> oh, fresh baked biscuits! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hang on, Tick. Are you talking about that dozy old house cat we met last time we was here? Ah, we're not worried about him. Here, cousin, we saved the last biggie for you. <laughs> You can make snow angels on your own time, Thomas. Get inside and start building that fire. made her visible. Now we can track her. Come on, Junior. We can't lose her now. Seems our detectives have found a better way to pursue this feline. <laughs> Jerry's keen detective skills spotted new prints. Wet ones.
Catching a tiger, um, panther by the tail. got their pictures in the paper, but the headline was not what they were hoping for. Bad news. Due to her clear talents for ice skating, the zoo added on a beautiful ice ring for the panther. They also acquired two new attractions, George and Junior. Uh, I'm sorry, George. This is all my fault. Elevator boots. The boys decided to inspect the sled and make sure no monkey business was underfoot. Do not open until July 4th? Well, you'll have to wait for July on that one. <laughs> puppies? Where are the full-size dogs? The driver said puppies were lighter and could travel faster. <laughs> This is no time for puppy love, huh? Gotta get these pups in harness and back on the trail. Detectives found themselves sledding north. <laughs> Meanwhile, Droopy's rival was also setting up a makeshift camp. Boy, when this guy trains dogs, he really trains dogs. Dame, I'm here at the camp, Mr. Spikington, getting ready to sabotage them good guys again. Just stop those dogs, boy -o, and there'll be a nice tip coming your way. You got it, boss man, man. Bet you never suspected little old me, did you? You did? Man, y'all watch too much dang TV. Roar, man. Roar! Hmm, must be a blown fuse. Uh, howdy, y'all. Slightly used bear suit. <laughs> 
This is easy. <laughs> Nothing to it. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 